Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Rhea, and welcome to another episode of the G Suite Show. Marketing and media teams, like the one that produces this show, often have to work with a large number of digital assets. And that can be a real hassle with all those big files that take up a lot of space, and it can be nearly impossible to search for and share, especially when the team drives are clogged up with a, with a number of Kobe Bryant highlight videos. Look, I'm not going to apologize for consistently exposing our team to greatness. Today, let's turn to the Transformation Gallery for inspiration, where we can see a variety of different Google tools for managing digital assets. Let's take a look at this card for creating and managing digital assets. Search digital media in the search box. It explains how to create, upload, and store all our raw media files directly in Google Drive. Storing digital assets on my team drives means there are no more email attachments that are huge going back and forth or wondering which version of the file is the right one. Well, I had a simple system for figuring this out. I would take the file name, I would add two dashes, my initials, a comma, the date, and a custom version number so everyone would always know which one is the right one. That is either the most clever or the most confusing thing that I've ever heard. Well, it worked for me. But you don't have to do that anymore with Drive. Changes are tracked automatically, and managing digital assets is just as easy as managing docs, sheets, or slides. I just open up Drive and click New. Then I select File Upload or Folder Upload and choose the file or folder I want to add to Drive. I can also drag and drop files directly into Drive. Once I've uploaded my files to Drive, I can organize them in folders. I select New again, but this time choose New Folder. I give my folder a name, and then I either drag and drop my files into the appropriate folder, or select the file, then More Actions, and then Move To. Files can be easily shared with anyone who needs access. Whether collaborating with coworkers or external partners, I simply click Share in the upper right corner, and then enter in the names or email addresses of the people I want to share with. I can also click Advanced Settings if I want to customize my sharing preferences. Files uploaded to Drive can be accessed at any time and on any device. That's one of the several advantages of storing digital files using Drive. For instance, I can view videos directly within Drive without having to download them to my computer or phone. Additionally, using Team Drives, we can make sure that files are never lost, even if someone leaves the company or changes roles, like if I become promoted to CEO. Watch out, Sundar. Or demoted to a permanent intern. With Drive Flexible Search, you can find files faster. Instead of just searching by file name, Drive can also search by keyword, file type, owner, date, and a bunch of other modifiers. To narrow down my search, I click the down arrow to see other search options, or I just use search operators like type image. When my search results appear, I can toggle between grid view and list view by clicking the icon in the upper right corner. Grid view is a great way to display image search results. We have stored organized and shared our digital files using Drive. But our transformation gallery card has more suggestions on how to use other G Suite's apps for collaboration. For example, if I want to see how people feel about the new logo I created, I can share a Google Doc for the rest of the team to offer feedback. By clicking Comments in the upper right corner, I can view and reply to comments posted in the document. I can also click anywhere in the document and then click the Add Comment button that appears on the right edge of the page to add a comment of my own. Another new feature is that I can embed a video from Drive directly into Google Slides. I just select Insert, then Video, then Google Drive. Now the video will play as part of my slideshow. I can also catch up on the latest changes to any of my shared files without even having to open them. Within Drive, I just click the View Details icon in the upper right corner, and then Activity to scroll through the Drive's comprehensive activity stream. And if I want to discuss files in real time, I can schedule a video hangouts and share my screen and discuss design concepts real time. All of this makes for a seamless creative process where we can spend more time on content and less time on managing it and sharing it. But that's not all. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, am I in an infomercial here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love G Suite. Finally, if you're working with dispersed teams, external agencies, and consumers, it can be helpful to create a centralized hub of all the assets on Google Sites. Using Google Sites, I can embed folders and different files directly into pages on the site. I can then add page descriptions, team info, and context to each page and share them with the appropriate parties. When digital assets are updated in Drive, those changes are automatically reflected in Sites. By using Drive and the rest of G Suite to manage digital assets, employees can easily edit and share large files, employers can save money on file sharing and storage solutions, and external partners can securely access just the data they need. 
it's a win-win. Or it's more of a win-win, win-win, win. Is that, is that too many wins? No. No, you can, have, you can never have too many wins. Hmm, good point. Okay. So this is one of the many cards that we have in our transformation gallery. So head there today and look for how you can streamline your day-to-day -day processes using various Google tools. You can also filter your search by industry or products. You can also read some of our customer stories or submit your own by using the form on the bottom left. See you next week. Bye-bye. Check out last week's episode where we look into how classrooms are redefining learning with the help of Chromebooks.